Now we get to the sodium channel blockers. And so here, dito na tayo papasok sa just focus on the very specific unique side effects sa kanya. You know, this phenytoin has like a lot of them. At first glance, phenytoin actually has a lot of them. So, um, actually, in terms of using it for epilepsy, it's not like on the top of your list of preferred because it's very difficult to handle. First of all, even touching it is difficult. It can give you cancer, literally. Preferably when you handle this in your internship, if you have face-to-face -face internship soon, please use gloves. It can potentially give you cancer. I was not informed about our might have forgotten about it. Someone reminded me, kasi, like, long after internship. So, if you're gonna touch it, please use gloves. And then, of course, the stuff about the hirsutism, the gum thickening, right? The gingival hyperplasia, and cardiac conduction problems because there are sodium channels also in the heart, probably, that's why. And purple glove syndrome, intravenous with intravenous administration. So, you know, it's just a very problem drug in general. Um, it's an option still, particularly for status epilepticus because generally, benzos alone um, only have more or less, it works more or less only half the time for status epilepticus. So generally, when you give the benzo, you want to give the second line drug kaagad, actually. And um, a lot of hospitals don't have the preferred second line drug, so phenytoin is still used a lot. So it's an option. Many of these um, CNS channel ion channel binders, they bind to a lot of CNS ion channels. Unless it's relevant, unless the other ion channels are relevant or the other MOAs are relevant, um, I won't mention them anymore. Okay? Of course, phenytoin, so ethyl bupa, or you know, I prefer ethyl birth, takes fenfen and refuses greasy carb shakes, very potent COIP inducer, so always check for interactions. Alright, so oxcarbazepine, I just want to clarify, oxcarbazepine, some claim it can be used for bipolar mania. No, it cannot. That is simply theoretical. I don't care about theories because randomized controlled trials have shown oxcarbazepine is inefficacious for bipolar. Okay, so do not use it for bipolar. Okay. It is useful for epilepsy. I see this, I've seen this a lot um, during... Um, my limited, my limited time in the community, I have seen this a lot. It's been used. Um, although, like carbamazepine, its spectrum is narrow, so it mainly works for epilepsies that are um, focal. So, again, originating in a specific hemisphere or a certain specific part of the brain only. doesn't work for generalized. Okay, so just for focal. And, you know, unique side effects. So, unlike carbamazepine, carbamazepine is like a lot of unique side effects besides the hyponatremia, and the syndrome of inappropriate ADH secretion. It also, you know, carbamazepine has the bone marrow suppression, right? It has the SJS10 risk tied to the HLA-B1502. Um, oxcarbazepine, mainly this is what you're going to be worrying about. SJS10 might be a thing. And interactions-wise, um, because oxcarbazepine is a metabolite of carbamazepine, oxcarbazepine will have less of the... Uh, interaction issues the carbamazepine has. Maybe that's why oxcarbazepine doesn't work for bipolar. Because, you know, carbamazepine is the, um, it affects, it binds to adenosine receptors. Maybe oxcarbazepine doesn't. So maybe that's why it doesn't work. Alright? For bipolar.